Lena Jain, Dr. Lena Jain, who is uh, working with us for the last 11 years. And uh, she is the geriatric and internal medicine specialist, Fraser Health. And she will introduce that the uh, link between stroke and mental health, our cognitives and our emotional health, and also our um, everything in the mental health. So also, it also affect the caregivers as well. Dr. J Lena Jan. I am saying uh, welcome to everybody. My, I am a Dr. Lena Chair, and I'm going to talk to, to you the stroke, how it affects the mood and the cognitive and mental health. And I'm going to uh, share this stroke, how the stroke is affecting our cognitive and mental health. Uh, after after the stroke happened, there are immediate effects, like how it affects our brain and how it affects our mood. And we will talk about this. For understanding this thing, it's very important that we should, the brain has a separate uh, functions, a, a separate parts. And uh, you can, is human brain is very unique and it looks like a walnut and but it's a, it's a big bigger than a walnut and it has a, you can look at the, at the this screen and this slide that it has a separate uh, uh, parts the first you can see that the frontal lobes there are two left and right lobes and we can say left and right lobes these these parts we call them temporal lobe. And, and the back part is the occipital lobe. These are the, when, when the different parts affect with the stroke, it has a different presentation and it affects the different parts of the body. And we will talk today that is different parts of the stroke of the brain, how it affects the cognitives and mental health. If we talk about the frontal lobe and then how it changes our mood and how it affects our cognition and mood. The person's personality changes, mood changes and change of behavior. The person who is very calm before, now he can get uh, very angry. Then he has a personality change, personality changes he doesn't have any motivation. Before he was very active and it changes all. So he's sometimes make inappropriate comments and not see that what's happening, how the other person will feel. So difficult, it's very difficult for understanding. So sometimes the difficulty solving the problems and also it's also shock for the family and it's some it's, a, it's understanding this how the it's happening with the stroke because they have no control over their body or cognition or their mood because of the stroke because they, before he was able to or she was able to solve these problems but now uh, you have to say so many times over and over remind that no we can you can do that you can do that but but no, uh, but he people can around family members, you know, get tired to uh, say over and over, but they don't, it doesn't affect them. Now we can uh, talk about the parental lobe, which is also a left and right parental lobe, uh, both sides. You can look at this screen. Parental lobe and Dr. Chahal and other, other uh, professionals also talk about uh, they were talking about the big strokes and physical impairments and paralysis also it affects the memory and also uh, a right parental lobe stroke is also a, your 
and they disoriented, they become disoriented. They can't find anything difficult to finding the things, you know, because uh, they forget, start uh, forgetting that uh, what happened half an hour before and this starts uh, uh, memory loss. And also they cannot express their emotions and uh, problems with their judgment as well. They don't even understand what it, uh, how we can judge, how we can take a decision. All those things are lost. All those uh, things and the behavior becomes a very impulsive. And they impulsively, without thinking, say anything or do anything. Now the left uh, parietal lobe stroke is uh, with this, the right side, it affects the right side. And also uh, is the brain, uh, the affect how the brain and it affects the speech because the left parietal uh, lobe jada, it also affects the language, speech and language. And the, but these, these patients know what to say, but they have a trouble expressing the, in the words, so cannot say. And also it's very difficult for them to uh, learn new things and like a simple math, they have a difficulty learning that. So before they were actually handling all the corporation and other all kind of uh, math, but then with the stroke, they cannot. And the patient is becomes very cautious and hesitant because their confidence is uh, uh, gone. They cannot have a, then we talk about the temporal lobe. When we talk about the temporal lobe, they understanding what's being said to you or to the patient, they are not understanding what is being said. They have a trouble in understanding. And then the loss, they lost memory, long-term and short-term. So then they have a, uh, changes in their uh, hearing. Hearing also affects the hearing and their behavior becomes very aggressive. They become violent, they become uh, angry, but before they were very calm and uh, they were never get violent or they were not angry. It, it's the, because of the temporal lobe stroke. Also their abnormality increased sexually. These are, these problems and changes are very uh, problematic for the family because family need to understand the, the, the patient, what he is or she is doing, what is the reason for why the understanding uh, like such, what's the changes, why has it been changed? Then we're gonna talk about the cognitive and mood changes in stroke affecting occipital lobe. Occipital lobe, um, it has, can be people are illusion and they see the illusions and misinterpreting the things. The patient, uh, suffer from the occipital lobe, they can write, but they cannot read. Then they see the things like hallucinations. They, their things are not there, but they see the things. Like I have one patient, uh, uh, he was seeing one person that he was coming to their home and uh, he was, uh, and he was, uh, he was uh, putting all the food on his table every day. But the, that man was not there. That person was not there. And then these are the illusions of symptoms. You know, sometimes uh, like if there is a rope is there and they feel like that it's a snake. So it's a misinterpret the uh, things, you know, because of their illusion. Occipital lobe stroke, not able to see the faces uh, uh, prop properly. ACK, this is this was the short term immediate effects. Now we can see the how the long term effects uh, of stroke stroke on the cognition was how it affects on the uh, cognition. We call it the vascular dementia. That means uh, some patient who are it's kind of a, a Forgetting, you know, it means that forgetting when they were everything, they, they sometimes uh, forget themselves. 
the people, the people who have a vascular dementia, they uh, some they don't have the memory and thinking uh, uh, capability. So they have to day to day, you know, problem solving. They cannot do that. How to do the microwave or to do the uh, little the small things in the kitchen. The, the, the patients who were previously independent and developed significant loss of thinking, thinking ability. Uh, the family uh, clearly tell us that we saw, we noticed that his or her behavior is totally changed after the vascular dementia. There was a uh, one report, medicine report, that in 2014, they told us that in three in three months, that 31 uh, present, pre pre percent of uh, dementia were, and then they followed it in vascular dementia. They have a signs of the memory loss, and it's uh, difficult to speak because they have no uh, ability to uh, make people understand what they want to say. And then there are movements, there are body movements that, that affects, and then their hands and feet are start trembling. And then their balance, uh, uh, they, they cannot keep the balance. That's why we say that vascular stroke has, a, they lost their balance and also how it affects with mood. Because uh, we talked about decognition, now we're going to talk about how the stroke affects their mood. This stroke is not, it, it immediately make a person from independent to dependent. So it's not uh, difficulty with the patient, but also with the family. There is a grief cycle is recognized with the, uh, which is they tell any shock any sudden shock or something happened, bad thing with the person, how they go through these stages. If they have a, some accident, some they meet the, any death in the family and how that person go through these stages that the person thinks the first thing, the, the stroke, ho gaya, first stage is uh, they, they, they feel nervous first time and then they will deny it because that first stage is the denial. And then the family members, when they realize that the stroke happened and the person is very feel anxious and also angry. And when they come out of the angry stage, then they become the bargaining stage and uh, uh, talking to themselves or talking to other people why it happened to him or her and why it happens. Why? Why they they try to find the reason and also justify, it. and and then they think about that. Oh, I I was so independent and now I'm dependent on people, and then they feel helplessness and they they came into very sadness and also slip into the depression. The person who go through the stroke he can uh, go through all these stages and the and and then he can accept that so if the person needs the um, uh, information communication and emotional support and also the guidance of the family and the uh, directions from the professionals and then they can go through and come in from these stages Depression and anxiety, and the 25 to 30 percent of patients is like go into the depression, and they have why why they have a depression? Because because sub, 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 first thing is they lose their independence, and independence because of the disabilities, and they they stress they feel stress and lack of sleep, and they socially isolated themselves, and they become actually iso social isolated. And then they they feel that they become the low self esteem and they feel ashamed of themselves because they feel they are uh, nothing in the society. And then in the family, they they think their position is slipped in the family, 
And also some people have the burden of the financial burden and psychological burden, as well as functional burden, like a related work that they cannot work. How to manage memory loss and depression after the stroke? So, so, so first of all, I will talk about the memory loss uh, that uh, the person uh, who is going through the stroke and also the family members have to organize the house and also have a routine for the person. Post events on a calendar. And also, uh, they can also uh, identify the things and label them. And they also, super, they can, family members can supervise that person. And uh, also they have a, they, they can have a notebook. They can write the, all the important things, uh, names, uh, family members' names, uh, and uh, important dates and passwords, whatever that's important for that person that they can uh, refer uh, so that he can refer in that notebook. And um, they can also keep the blister pack of medication and keep a notebook. And, and, they, they, and they do not actually do too many things at a time. So just uh, you can just put the stickers on the stove in the bathroom or on the microwave. You, you can put all the stickers on these a tap. You can put the uh, sticker on tap. Also, because you can put the sticker on the main door so that if they can go out or want to and then they can check the sticker. Also, you can put address and phone number in, in his or her jacket or pocket so that uh, they, they sober, somebody see them, they can phone them. Also, talk to your doctor about the medications and also and because the doctors, you can also uh, don't hesitate to socialize and talk. How, how, to, how to manage the depression? Because if you, what to do with this socialization? If the person is going through a stroke, they, 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 they now have the acceptance, right? They know that the person is going through, have a, had a stroke and how we can do uh, to keep that person positive. So then it's a chances if he can uh, get better, if you keep uh, the person in a positive, positive perspective, uh, uh, family support, good family support and education exercise, uh, because uh, you don't uh, have, uh, you don't lose uh, uh, your patience or uh, your strength. So if they, they, can, they can actually sometimes, you know, reverse after stroke are fairly reversible because they can educate them and educate themselves as well. When the caregivers are, you don't think that uh, this person is not capable of doing anything, just to provide the same respect and provide the same compensate his, all the deficits he's going through and also encourage the person to do whatever the person is able to do that help the person to, uh, to do that. And also whatever the capabilities they give. So, uh, for example, if the person has a, a right, right side is paralyzed and, uh, and the, but the, the, that person can use the left side and also because, uh, because there are the people who are having four uh, extremities are cut off, but they are still doing painting with their mouth. So, so the courage, don't, don't leave the courage. So always keep your courage up and positivity. So sometimes they, they in depression, the person the, who, is, uh, who had stroke, think about that, maybe get to depression so I can go from here. But I can tell you a very important thing that the, when the person had a stroke, then the first six months are very important that you can actually reverse the stroke. stroke. And if proper rehabilitation, physiotherapy, and the proper mindset with the positive attitude, you can maintain and then you can actually rehabilitation and, uh, and maintain the positive attitude you can reverse stroke somehow. 
you can talk to your family doctor and seek the support of resources. There are such as strokes and don't delay that. If the problem is there and just face it with the, with the courage. And also uh, there is the speech language and therapy and also Heart and Stroke Foundation is there. Heart Link, uh, there's a lifeline, uh, Heart li Link that 811 and you see lifeline, you can contact that auto alert in there. And um, also, if you fell down, then you can all those services, you know, can come and help you. So you can connect the all these resources and services with your family doctor and uh, home health services as as uh, appropriate for you. So you, because there's a handy dot service, there's also a taxi service. And so for mental health services are there also, you can also, and um, and then if you are alone at the home, you have a home health services and somebody can help you. You cannot walk, you cannot get up. So there are people and actually caregivers, they can come to your home. And very important thing is that uh, we talk about the prevention is better than cure. So if we, uh, prevent first uh, or any further strokes uh, with light control, with um, tight control and all the uh, mentioned risk factors, proper diet. And if they have uh, other uh, undercurrent, underlined illnesses, if, 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 even if they have a stroke, then you can also control all those things. So we have to take our own responsibility to take care of ourselves and our health. If we don't do that, then we might have a further problem. The most important thing is, whatever the situation is, is a hope. That hope, you always keep hope because our community believe in faith and in God and just believe in God that this life is very short and it is the result of, don't say that, it is from the previous deeds or something, but we cannot say anything. Some people say that it's the uh, previous deeds or something, but but Rab, but the God has given you lots of opportunities from your from your doctors, from the professionals, and from the uh, from these kind of talks, your health, and you can change your life through us and from resources. Uh, you with the, with the health resources. This is our hope for you, and this is our prayer for you. Don't lose hope. Don't lose hope. Everything will be better. Right attitude. Thank you.